Oh, Brian. Yo. Uh, feel a slight chill in the air. Do you? <laughs> the funk of 40,000 years. Whoa. Welcome. It's time once again for the poorly played stream. I love coming in every Wednesday. It's a, And it's a hot. Yep. It's that funk you feel in the air. It's that hot Wednesday night air, Brian. It is. It's uh, the beginning. It feels like it's the beginning of summer. Pretty, it, do it does. Pretty soon we're going to have to start, you know what? Oh, yeah. That Metal Gear Solid Summer Stream, Metal baby. Metal Gear Solid Summer Stream coming at you. I mean, in June. We did two last summer. Yeah. It's time for three. Everyone's favorite. Everyone loves Hell Snake yeah. Eater. Hey. Uh, Everybody does love Snake Eater. Everyone. Who doesn't love Snake Eater? You could skip the sniper battle Which by waiting it out or hitting him with his own medicine from the wheelchair. You sniper that fool first. Oh, yeah, dude. What the fuck? How could oh, you yeah. do that in get? Well, we're not there yeah. yet. We're with my other favorite franchise today, That's right. Brian. Ping pong in like a tennis ball. We're playing a, a little, volleyball court. little door opener action on a volleyball court with my King Lord. Thank what you up, for everyone? joining me. What's up? Don't walk away from me when I'm Feel, talking here. to What's you. Uh, there, he's did there. I, did I fuck with my seat? I might have been using your seat. I've been doing oh, so many different streams. Somebody's touching my chair. Today we are playing... Uh, Goldilocks coming into Papa Bear's house this... fucking <laughs> just right on his seat. This is uh, me adjusting. I fucked with all your levels, dog. I changed your base EQ, and I fucking cross-referenced. Dude, I, I feel like I sound better this week. No, I'm joking about that. Oh, did you? I'm talking okay. about when you mess with someone else's stereo. Oh, it really... Yeah, don't did... you remember that movie, Fast Kick? Oh. You go, damn! Yeah. Never touch a ninja's stereo! Did uh, he say that? Uh, no, actually. I think he does. I think he, he says, said... damn! That's my Chris Tucker is, Damn! Never touch a police officer's stare officer stare Let me take that one again. <laughs> Damn! Oh. Never touch a police officer's a detective stereo. So what? <laughs> That's what he says in that. So it's like I came in, I fucked with all your levels, bro. You know. And then and then in rush hour three, fast kick three, fast kick three. Jackie Chan's there this time. Re return. Uh, uh, return wait. of. Hey, Shang Shanghai Nights. No, wait, that's a whole oh, different. that was with oh, that was with oh yeah, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah, yeah. So now oh, he gotta was, get a little bit of he was a, the adjustment foil. here. He was the foil in that, and he and he did it, and then oh, you know what? It was payback because this oh, time Jackie wow. Chan says, "Don't you know he never touched a Chinese man radio?" Yeah, he, he does say that, and that's uh, that's in, that's in the third one. That is a good callback. It's call, a good callback. So third, was that in Shanghai Nights or was that in? I think in... that's a totally different franchise, actually. Oh, there's so they Shanghai just... Noon with Owen Wilson, and oh. then there's Shanghai Nights, which was the sequel. Yeah, but Rush Hour Three is a totally different fucking movie with no. Chris Tucker. Probably the same production. Pro yeah, Jackie Chan. <laughs> same same producers all on board. But, I'm still uh, waiting on Fast Kick Four. I'm with you, fucking not long. Yeah, the reboot bar. that. Dude. When are we getting a new? You know, they always make another one of these sequel movies. You get like, live fast, die hard. You get uh, what was that? The other one that was like way past its prime. Well, we're still getting Terminator movies every uh, couple of years. Land Before Time Seven. Land Before si Time Seven, a classic example of too much of Littlefoot and Ducky. We yeah. know how it ended with Sarah after the first one. We don't need to keep we reusing. Yeah. To Think of it. something we new. We get it. The I get Earth it. has been dying since it was born, just like humans. You got a tree star, and you want more. Yeah. Ugh. Fucking stupid. We're playing Resident Evil Survivor. This is the first spinoff. It was originally in uh, the uh, Japanese release. It was called Gun Survivor. That's Resident right. Evil Gun Survivor. And it had light gun support. Now, this version is very interesting for the U.S. and European releases. Tell them about it. They put it into this, like, um, D-pad control. Yeah, this is a PlayStation 1. Wow. We're playing on a, on a backwards-compatible fat PS3, one of those 60-gig mothers. Wow. Launch. But uh, we've played this on the PPS before. I'm going to easy because I just want to yeah. explore yeah. this. We, we've been playing a lot of the new Resident Evil spinoff. Yeah, Re Resident Evil Resistance, and we're really liking it. And I want to showcase the first Resident Evil spinoff, um, or the first one I got. This was in 2000. Yeah. Remember, I had this pre-ordered at home, 
and I went on a trip to Europe in the year 2000, and I saw it in European stores at a Virgin Mega Store. It was on sale before it was back at home, and it was like, dude, should wow. I buy? I'm here. Should I buy this? And it's like, I don't have PAL. Nope. No, I can't do that. I had it in my hand though, and then as soon as I got home, it was like, I need to go to warehouse. We need to pick up Gun Survivor, Mom. Who developed? So. No wait, 2000. That would have been. That wouldn't have been a mom thing. I would have been driving my ass to uh, not even uh, warehouse music. This would have been a probably a game or a Babbage's purchase. I probably yeah. pre-ordered and picked this up at either Electronics Boutique or a Babbage's in the mall. I remember fucking Electronics Boutique. Planet Game Planet. What was the other one? Planet. Uh, Planet Terror. No. Planet something. This game looks. Really dark. I'm gonna lighten it up real quick, Brian. Sorry to steal. That's fine. This... I'm, re I'm reading about the developer Tose, who developed this game, because this isn't a Capcom developed game. It, but it's got very uh, like similar assets. Like they, I think they got hold of all yeah, the they, Resident Evil One stuff. They, so it, lo it <laughs> looks like they, the uh, yeah, it looks like they fucking uh, gave the assets to Tose. And then th in in Europe, this I, isn't even published by uh, Capcom. This who is published, published by it? Eidos. Eidos Interactive in Europe. Yeah. Wow. That's weird. I can I. It's very hard to even make it look. That looks a little better, but I mean, without blowing it out too much, it's like barely visible. Do you see what I'm oh saying, Brian? Oh my God. Why is it yeah. so red? I know, right? Wow. A lot of red. This is your generic main male character here. Whose name I can't remember. Bet you it's in the book. Probably not worth remembering either. He can't hear anything. No, uh, Dylan, this is run on a fat PS3. Yeah, we're playing on a PS3 uh, launch console, one of the fully backwards compatible. So we still get some HDMI output, some smoothing. And, uh, that was cool, actually, that you could still play yeah. original PS1 games oh. on any well not any but up to any fat ps3 that first ps3 man was yeah. like the best fucking well, version of that system they like uh, up to mine like you can play I, I have the um i have the one that were released right after they took ps2 backwards compat out so i have the uh i have the one that can still play ps1 games after a while they eventually took that out of like the slim and all yeah. that yeah, because they knew they could sell those digitally. It's like, oh, yeah. ah, oh, make yeah. people rebuy them. Oh, yeah. So right now, let's, uh, well, I want to go into other settings. I talked about game smoothing. So we're going to go with normal screen, but let's turn smoothing on to see how that looks. And then I definitely want to throw this into analog mode so I can actually use the analog stick. Then you don't really have to hold the run button down. Uh, return? Oh, wow. Now the other analog stick, though, is mimicking. Wow. Okay, so I can't touch the right. Here's the drawback. <laughs> I can use the left analog stick now to move and look around, Brian. Okay. But I, if I touch the right analog stick, that opens menus. <laughs> uh, so don't even touch the right analog stick. Good luck with that. But let's... um. See, that worked for... Um, go ahead, actually. Let's see what our handgun looks like so this is actually set up like a resident evil game it's just first person mm -hmm. wow so this is like the precursor to resident evil 7 really dead aim yeah before that was another kind of th and then there was a gun survivor 2 and um a gun survivor 3 which were like ps2 i think gun survivor 2 might not have come out here and i'm conflating it with 3 there was one where it was like Code Veronica. I know you and Frank are playing through Code Veronica on Big Dogs right yeah, now. Yeah, we are, yeah. There's a Gun Survivor version of a bunch of shit in that game where the nemesis is on the Rockford Mansion, like, chasing you around. Yeah. And Not, not like, you know, a Bandersnatch, but the nemesis from Resident Evil 3. It makes no fucking sense. Oh, yeah. There's um, a bunch of, like, mixed stuff with that. And I, I have an import of that. I wonder if we could ever get that running. We could. That, I think, runs with the gun con, too. I have a uh, modded PS2. If we ever need it, I can bring it in. Okay. Yeah. Um, and we should. I think it'd be fun to stick and to try all these games out. Like, honestly, 
Everybody has played every single Resident Evil, and you happen to be one of the few people who owns, I think, what? almost every copy of a Resident Evil oh, game out I'm there. A, I'm able to shoot. Whoa. Um, Good thing I held my trigger button and hit X <laughs> and walked towards the key. Hell yeah. Yeah, you were saying, like, a lot of people will... Um, we were talking before we went live today. Like, a lot of people emulate and you've been emulating like ps1 ps2 games lately yeah mostly actually uh that's really PSP. where oh yeah 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 gonna, it still seems so dark i want to try to do oh something wow here. yeah it is it doesn't uh, look crazy do yeah ah. that one do that one uh, ah. you can yeah kind of put it there and then kind of put it there that's like yeah see that's at least at least we can make out some definition yeah but oh god almighty I know the game capture kind of does this, but, like... Yeah, where's it, like, too whited out? If you could see what I'm looking at, like, on the TV screen, it's honestly not that much better, but it's not so fucking dark yeah. in the middle. <laughs> That's pretty uh, good. No, SF Burrito, I hard mod, uh, mod chipped my PS2. Yeah, I have, um... I have one of those disc swap uh, Japanese lid. Oh, because you have the... Yeah, you have, I have a lid. I have a, a US PS2 and a Japanese PS2, so... We might not even need to use the mod because it's a Japanese game. I could just play it. You know what I mean? Okay. I mean, that's the thing. Uh, I got it so I could play King of Fighters from Japan. So oh, right. It, so it's a, it's the unregion lock. There's um, this there's this lag, and I, I got to remember to stop hitting the analog. Yeah. The other analog stick because there's a lag backing out of the menu, actually. That's what I actually did was I played um, uh, while... while I, Jesus. I mapped a PS3 controller to my MacBook because it's super easy. They interface through Bluetooth. Yeah. So I could play Crisis Core on my Mac. Oh, that's cool. And it runs like awesome, like I've full used the resolution. Rusty and like, so what I did though, because you can move the cameras, is I mapped L and R to right and left on the right analog stick. Okay. So I can kind of control the, oh, shit. shit. Kind of control the camera that way. And it's, and it's been working out pretty good. And then Oops. just last night, I, I fucked around and got a dolphin emulator for my how do Mac. I, how do I fucking stop hitting the goddamn other analog stick? Because I might have to just turn it off. Shit. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Mm. So you are having a good time with the emulators, Brian. Oh, yeah. I Crisis mean, Core, man. I mean, you're, you're not getting your fill on Final Fantasy Rebuild? Well... Remake? So, so that's that's exactly it. I'm I'm getting my fill of that story, but then there's all that pre-story in Crisis yeah. Core that actually really like also helps understand. And I remember really liking that game uh, when when I got it on PSP, but I was uh, I was probably too impatient and too young to really like. I spent a good amount I never of time finished playing it, it but I, I never finished it. Yeah, I never finished it on PSP. Um, I got really far. So yeah. Um, one of uh, one of one of our um, lovely lovely chat contributors and the big dogs, just, uh, Jordan Shouts Jones, out. helped me figure out how to. Uh, God, I keep hitting. I, I gotta. I have to turn it off. I have yeah. to turn. An yeah. As much as I want to play with the analog sticks, I have to turn analog mode off because my thumb is bumping that analog stick and going uh, into the menu every ten seconds. Yeah, it's not gonna work. But yeah, so it all works <clears> out. Yeah, that's uh, it was super easy. I had to go into the terminal and literally like change some code or whatever. But all of that to do shit, what to to get shit to work. Um, for like I, I for the dolphin emulator. Look at this umbrella church, by the way. Oh yeah. The umbrella uh cathedral. The the dolphin emulator would play any of the GameCube games. Any of the GameCube games. Okay. So if I want like I want to play Beautiful Joe again, so now I can play Beautiful Joe again. Um, because it was best on GameCube. Um. Yeah, I might play Beautiful Joe instead of Metroid. Fuck Metroid. I play Metroid enough. <laughs> like, I, I can appreciate Metroid like a million times over, but when I was younger, I couldn't appreciate Beautiful Joe. I was uh, like, yeah. I wasn't a good enough gamer. So now I want to do that, and it's, uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. Oh, shit. Here's some homie. So the way this works is the, s the game kind of snaps you to, why can't I move? Oh, I'm using the analog sticks still. Fuck. So the D-pad now moves you around the room, but when you hold uh, R1 on the trigger, and you see how it snapped my view left and right, like if I'm aiming on the left or the right part of the screen? Yeah. Like I'm hitting both of these guys. 
it kind of moves your it kind of snaps to this auto aim thing once you, once you hit l1 yeah I, i'm moving around the d-pad oh until you hit l1 then you are stuck you can't Whoa. walk but you can move your crosshairs so this around. was probably and you just walk up to stuff to pick the keys and stuff up oh my god so this was their way of maybe even starting to test like a now I gotta hit the, roaming camera game gotta hit the run button again. you know like if you can get a camera that works and this to work like that like is this a single player Ooh, the clock winder yes this is a single player game interesting but it uh, plays this, exactly like a resident evil it i mean it's it's like graphically i was thinking how fun it would be to play this on uh, see, I, the PS4 wouldn't play this, but with the PlayStation VR headset, if you just played this in VR, I think that would be so fun. That's because uh, it's a first-person view. Yeah, Deathflip said that in the chat. Oh, he was. Uh, I was thinking that today. I mean, too. I bet. I bet. And then now this is where I'm like, okay, I, I just download this and, and run it on my PC or whatever, you know, like, and then play in a Valve headset. Yeah, whatever your Valve headset is. Um, uh, Kimi Kuso, there's a there's a million ways for you to play Ninja Gaiden Black. So I, I mean, oh yeah, Rocco you, was just talking about how that's got backward support on like the newest Xbox, uh -huh, and it yeah. plays fucking beautifully. Ninja Gaiden Black is on the original Xbox. If you purchased it, excuse me, if you purchased Let's it originally, it. you can just download it again. That's what I did. If you have Game Pass, I think it's on Game Pass. Um, if not, you can play it on um, reloading. You There's no reload in. button I've found. No, it just does it auto when hey, you oh, get to oh, the end. Oh, yeah, when you get to the end, or you have to go in like this. Uh, Isn't that shitty? Yes. Are you playing Ninja Gaiden? Uh, Black? I, I kind of did and kind of aren't. Like, I remember uh, getting that game when it came out. It was like, this I, is I too it. hard for me. Yeah, I, I beat it, and I beat two. I'd like to play two again. Just because I played one so many times, I'm over it. Um, that's kind of where I'm at with one. I played it enough times that I'm over it. Uh, not over it. I just don't How need do to fucking out? play it again. Although I pop it in every once in a while, just as they like, I'll play this for 15 minutes and then I stop. Um, but uh, yeah, there's. It's also on Vita. You can get the PlayStation uh, Black Sigma, which is right. also available on. That was like the 3. latest and greatest. Like with all the DLC and everything else, the little costume stuff and cosmetic things. Yeah. That was all in Sigma. I remember that. Whoa, okay. That opened on a cutscene. That was weird. I didn't have control of which way I looked. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Ah, the church manager's diary. Diary. What do you think diary. the What do you think the church manager's up to? Let's Jerk. give it. Let's give it a read. Jerk off. I think Rio Habus has, has been in Smash as a uh, trophy or some other assist thing. Rio? Huh. The, Ninja guy the church manager's diary says, uh, Today, the leaders of each section of the city, including myself, attended a meeting with the commander. The briefing was on the destruction of Raccoon City. Oh. Ooh. During the conference, everyone placed the blame on William Birkin. He betrayed the company and wanted to keep the G-Virus for himself. The commander told us that if there is a traitor like Birkin in this city, we should execute him immediately and without question. That's what a man of God would do, right? This is the church leader. Uh, he wholeheartedly agrees with the commander's orders. The city is a vital to Umbrella as a laboratory in Raccoon City was. No, it is actually much more important. This island is more important than Raccoon City. And this is now confirming that it takes place after Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3. Wow. We must not allow a biohazard to happen in the city. We cannot let Umbrella's efforts to buy the city and establish the billion dollar franchises go to waste. Uh oh, that was facilities, not franchises. Take that again. This is not at all sound. It does, that doesn't sound like words. What is, what is this track? I don't know. Hello? What is that? Hello? Now I'm too distracted. Hello? Hello? Yeah. Yeah? I don't know. Is this Paul? Who's Paul? <laughs> um. <laughs> These billion dollar facilities go to waste. We should keep a closer eye on the behavior of personnel in the future. The church manager. Quite a authoritarian. By God. By golly. Hmm. Mmm. Okay, we've got some posters on the wall, a dartboard. A lot of uh, Resident Evil games, the early ones, featured uh, pinball machines. Wow, look at the 3D spinning 
That, that light, the light is so blown out. In the game capture? In the game capture, it's like a white you fucking You can't even wall. see it. Holy shit. <laughs> you just walk up to stuff to pick it up. It's so funny. Give me that herb. What do we have? Did you uh, ever play Resident arcade? Evil 1.5? 1, 1. Oh, what 5? the fuck? Oh. Yeah, you know what? I got that out and tried to play it uh, to bring it in here. But you do need a modded system for that. Uh... Kevin got me an Etsy disc of that. So it's like someone made 1.5, uh, which was that kind of halfway, you know, abandoned version of 2. Yeah. With Eliza Walker and, the, oh, yeah. and Leon. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. And they... Um, they they would sell a uh, like black CDR burned with that data on there and like it's got a good screen printed disc art it's got the manual it's got the case and everything Kevin got me that for for Christmas or something a couple years ago and uh, it plays on a modded system yeah. but it's funny when I was testing out this I I pulled that to see like should we play this tonight and I just popped it in the fat to see if it would work but it's, to no be avail cool, cuz like I've never I should just download it and, and check it out but like I've Well yeah we're never, talking about the emulation stuff I've that's where it's it. most yeah. accessible It uh craps out after a couple minutes like it's it's not a complete working game you know Oh I thought somebody put it together to be No it's not finished there's like certain hallways you can't walk down or it'll freeze oh. there's certain things like you, it's it's just like what's there I see uh, at least the version I have is. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know what what else is going on. The good thing about this Resident Evil game, though, Brian, is uh, there's no, <laughs> like, ammo pickup. It's unlimited ammo, I'm realizing now. Oh, So good. you can kind of shoot your ass off. You just yeah. got to manually reload. Well, yeah, that was the thing, right? It was, like, uh, back, this was when, like, House of the Dead and, like, all of these, like, time yeah, crisis gun, you know, light gun games were popular. I think that is actually probably has a lot to do with it is like the popularity of house of the dead resident evil's like well let's do our version of that you know what i mean yeah and here we are see the snap too, like different body parts it's interesting and then also if i shoot off to this side and also oh look so i can still pan while i'm in that mode i just can't walk anymore as soon as i let go of the l1 you, can, you can walk so again. it's like uh oh so now i got the clock from, I got the winder like from the other clock. Now I'll use this winder to wind this clock. Is that what I do? Oh my god, it worked. Only the handgun is unlimited is what the, uh, Midnight Sun said. Yes. Uh, when we get to some future big weapons, we, we will definitely be... Oh yeah. Grenade launching and, and shotgun shelling. Mm, it's locked. An emblem... Of a shield. I loved in the Resident Evil 3 remake that Carlos is, like, making fun of the keys in yeah. the police station. Yeah. He's like, what's he say? Some shit about, like, fucking some goofy key with a helmet on it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. It was like... <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Funny looking doors or something. Funny looking doors, funny right? Funny looking locks. Eat shit and die, Spinner. Anyone else? Okay. Let's fucking reload it. Brian, do we have... Our first Discord caller of the night. I think we night. do. Because I, I do want to say, uh, if you want to call in, the Discord's link is in the chat. Yeah. And uh, we do want to talk to you. We want to see what's going on. If you're down to spin the wheel. If you're down in the uh, Twitch chat. I see some of the homies are hanging. And I see the Nightbots there. That's you, Brian. Oh, yeah. Uh, but if you want to uh, call in, talk to us. We Bin. Who called in last week? Uh, uh, she spun the wheel. She got finished that line. Brian, we never got to it. Oh, we fucking moved on and got too like into what we were doing and I never. We did it. No, we never did. She said that we had to look up a type of vlog called "Get Ready with Me." Do you remember that? Oh. So uh, before we do our next wheel spin, but not until we talk to Tylon the Ninja, we'll get back. To that uh, spin that we owe Ben. Too many fucking rhyming words, Tylon. I'm losing yes. my mind. Yeah. How you ben, doing? Ben, ben. Uh, I'm doing really good. Huh? What's up? You know, um, I can't complain. It's been it's been real. Got my yeah. got my old school uh, favorite Resident Evil gun survivor out of the closet. Dusted it off. I'm feeling uh, I'm feeling fine. 
Wednesdays are almost like a half Friday for me. Weeks halfway over, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> you look at it that way too? Well, usually it's a Monday for me because of my work schedule. <laughs> oh, it's yeah. It's like one of those once in a blue moon where I have... Oh, yeah, yeah. Of... Hey, you're back at work now too. You're essential again. Yeah, well, essential enough. They were, Congrats. They were going to have everyone back next week on the 4th because mm. I think that's when officially the stay at home thing ends mm. but they're like well what state are you in back earlier, like, okay. oh yeah washington okay yeah so i'm back it's uh it's pretty boring um not a lot of customers no not a lot of people it's a is it uh starbucks yeah so not a lot of people coming through for the drive through mostly deliveries Mine's not even a drive-thru, that's the thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's why. There you go. Okay. So, but it's yeah, it's, it's open. The, the order on the app and... The and lobby's then, open. The Wi-Fi's on. Yeah. Shit. That's cra that seems people crazy. people sit inside. It's like you have to come in and go. Yeah, you wow. can't... Oh, you can't, you can't sit? Good. You can't sit and just vibe? Good. What vibe. if I get on the Wi-Fi and I'm watching my Instagram stories and I'm just vibing with my mutuals? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can do that. You just have to do it outside. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. I can still get, like, uh, the SSID, the signal will reach. WPA2 yeah. encryption. Oh, yeah, dude. Keep it safe. Okay, I like that. I like that. Yeah. So, Tylon, what's the purpose for your call? Yeah, it's a little boring. It's like, I can't really talk to a lot of people. And I'm just yeah. standing around waiting for people to order their coffee on the phone. <laughs> Is it nice to get some human interaction for the first time in a while? Yeah, You're talking to people. To <laughs> oh, there you go. Yeah, we well, got to be responsible. You're exposing yourself enough at work. Yeah. Uh. Well. Yeah, man. It's good to hear. It's good to hear the life's easing up. Routines going a little back to normal now. Still staying, staying safe out there. That's right. I gotta admit, I I've been seeing this week. Way more cars on the road, man. I think people are... Yeah, there were way more cars when I drove over here today than there were the last five weeks. People are relaxing on, on all of the uh, all the stay-home orders. I think I think they're just getting out and having to... Yeah, know, stretch their stretch legs. legs. Got to stretch your legs. Tylon, <laughs> make sure to stretch. It's a very key, important part of the day. Stretching. That's right. Yeah, super important. Do you guys Bottom do any stretch stretching? When you get to Starbucks in the morning and you uh, you're ready to uh, you know start the shift, you go through any stretching, any kind of like windmill circles, pull the knee up, you know, touch your toes, any that kind of thing. Yeah, um, since I I basically stand the entire time, so you gotta. If I don't stretch, then my legs become as like stiff as boards. Sure. Uh, so I'm always, I'm always stretching my legs like every hour, or so I don't. Yeah. So that's good. That's like... your own, and that's on your own recommendation. Hallelujah, Tylon. That's not even corporate telling you that. Yeah. All corporate tells me to do is is uh, check my temperature yeah, and wear a mask, cute. and that's it. <laughs> yeah. Check it. Wear the mask. We've all got our masks now. It's very fashionable. Everyone's gonna be. We're gonna be putting these masks in scrapbooks, and it's gonna be like, remember my Corona mask. It had a peacock on it. Oh god, people you are. You may not want to that. keep those. those might totally. Be <laughs> no way, dude. It only lives for a few hours on that mask. You're good. Put in a scrapbook. Man. You so no good. no one's getting infected. No T virus. Not <laughs> on my watch. Nuh uh, baby. Well, Tylon, did you have a purpose for your call yeah. or any parting words? Yeah, anything else for us? Um, well, I guess you already Obin one, but I was going to call in and ask for a wheel spin as well. We do, we do hey. Obin a spin from last week. Well, we got the spin. We owe her what we have to do. Yeah, this we, is a new spin. This is a new, new spin. Week. New week, new spin. So maybe we got two bits to do in a row, Brian. I think so. Okay. All Let's right. get Tylon's spin. Tylon, are you ready? <laughs> yes. Okay. I'm not. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. But here we go, Tylon. For you. Let's get that spin cam up. Sure, that's a drum roll. Okay. 
close enough. That's what I'm saying. Close enough. You ready? Ooh, meow. Ooh. Prank call for Tylon. Okay. Tylon, thank you very much for calling us. We're going to get our prank call ready. We're going to get Ben's, uh, finish that line from last week's uh, show ready. We've got Action Zorb. so much coming at you. Cheers, Maddie. Action Colleen. Cheers, Maddie. Just no. We, <laughs> we thank you for, uh, for calling in, Tylon. Yeah, dude. All right. Take ha it easy. Have Take a good one. Ease. We'll be uh, right back. Time. Let's set up. Let's set up for that. Finish that line first. This uh, digital ones and zeros music, Brian. Enough of this uh, fucking I/O port. Tune? Close your ports. Talking about shit tune. I'm talking about snare waves and their ports are open. My oh. port, my ports are closed. Are your ports open? Um. Fuck. This is free real estate. <laughs> now, uh, Brian, yes. did we find a good uh, blog, a get ready with me blog I that think we did. that I can finish the line of? Yes. Thanks. Okay. Uh, should we go to? All right. What do you What do you got to work I, I with? I searched for this is just for a shorter a shorter video. So I found one that's like three minutes long. Should I just click to a random port a point in the video? Yeah. Okay. Oh, totally. Okay. This is get ready with me Disneyland. Okay. Now I'm gonna play the video out for a little bit, and then I'll finish that line. Whenever Brian stops it. Oh, yeah. So this is about a minute into this video. This is Get Ready With Me Disney. This is the Get Ready With Me blog. Okay. Go ahead. On a fluffy blush, we brush in my eyeballs, and then mascara. Yep, guys, this is the Lazy Girl's Guide to Makeup. Okay, she's putting on mascara. Of my life. You can also, just kind of see you here. lower lashes. Finally, I'm going to set all of that with the setting powder or spray thing. Okay, she's I spraying. Go off a while. Now I'm drinking some tea. And it was fudging hot. Okay. I'm going to add a little bit of lippy color. This is like a sheer peachy reddish color, which was nice. She's and putting look, on uh, lipstick. You can still see my zit, but whatever. All right. So I'm not ready. Remember I said make sure I'm ready. But yeah. I, I know you don't want to well, no, no, play no, the music. She, she went, yeah, I'm just going to clip to the next part where she's speaking. <laughs> she wants it to look <laughs> But she has yeah. friends. Thank you. Come on. Woo! 
And now time to dress the hair. She's not doing much talking through the get ready with I, me like, vlog. I like honestly am so close. She's trying to park at Disneyland. This could be this could be trouble. Jake has an extra pair of pants. I don't have a shirt though. Oh look, Disneyland! Yay, so exciting. Okay, great. I'm literally parking and peeing outside my car. Are you excited? Yes. Jake is our commander in chief and is enforcing brisk walking. He's literally running. He's literally running, but I'm the one who's about to walk over here and piss in this bush. Jake, Jake, you're gonna need to corn up. Ah! Jake, someone's looking at me. Someone's taking an Instagram photo. Go get them and take their phone away. Jake's our commander in chief. Haley's here. She helped me do my eyebrows this morning, but right now I'm gonna squat and piss over this bush. Hold on a second here. Commander in chief, they're looking at me. Turn them away. Get their fucking cameras. Take them. <laughs> there. That is, uh. There you go. That's finished this line. Do you want to know what she actually says? Yeah, what does she actually say after? Go ahead. We're going to Disneyland. So excited. So excited. I and nailed it. I'm wondering if he's in the parking lot. I fucking nailed it! That's a master at work. Oh yeah. I'm a man it. in his element. You nailed you it. You say, oh, is he, uh, you know, judging this uh, female vlogger no. by her tone and no. her appearance and what she might be saying? No, yes, I am, Brian. And that's the genius of a detective mind. You do judge a person by those things and you can ascertain and you can surmise that's the right. outcome. That's and that's right. how you nail. That's how you nail it. Stereotypes work. <laughs> I'm so fucking happy. I'm getting horny now just thinking about it. Thank you. She was attractive. <laughs> I I wouldn't watch a get ready with me vlog uh, on the regular. I can't no. say. That's a new one for me, Ben. But I did. I did. Good, uh, good to know that that exists. I learned something. I did. Yeah. Something. Now. Who knows how valuable you are right. we're and are no longer. So we still owe Tylon at a some prank point call. a prank so call. So we will now, we're going to be indebted next week. We'll get to the prank call. But sure. No, I've, uh, <laughs> I've got an idea okay. for the prank call. Chat um, was saying call Sean. I think that'd be fine. Well, no, I've got an idea. I'm, I'm ready. I've, I've been, uh, you know. Been there. Been rehearsed in this. Um, and, I, you know, I kind of thought maybe mm. last time we got prank call. You know, I thought it was a little too close to this pandemic. We don't want to bother some first responder out there like yeah. Tylon trying to serve up coffee. He just wants to serve a fuck cup yeah. of coffee. But now, you know, I've I've uh, I've got a little different opinion. So I've got a plan for a prank call. I was wondering when it would come back. Happy to see it here, Tylon. For you, coming up soon. We're getting to that. Bow. For now. You what you mean? Here's another prank call. What's I mean, bow. What is bow? Only thing I know about bow is shit. That's all I know about bowel, too. A pig bowel. Andre the Giant's bowel. <laughs> Shit, you mean? I mean, bowel, what is bowel? Only thing I know about bowel is shit. Give a shit what it was, man. You can't make me buy some I don't know about. No, you think again. I don't think we ordered that. How are you gonna make her pay you? Well, you can get a little physical, because I can get a little physical, too. Damn. Get a little physical. I get a little physical. I get a little physical, too. Let's get physical, physical. Yeah, you. Well, you can get a little physical, because I can get a little physical, too. I want to get physical. You can get a little physical, too. Get a little physical, too. I like that. Yeah, I, should re I should do a remix of the, uh, was that Debbie Harry? Maybe. No, it was, uh, uh, what was a, what was a blonde in Greece? What was her name? She had that, oh, that Olivia single. Newton Olivia Newton-John. Olivia Newton-John had uh, that physical. I wanna get physical. Uh, There's also an Adam Ant song called Physical, which is actually good. Not like the Olivia Newton-John one. I've walked in and out of the same fucking room three times, Brian. Yeah. <laughs> 
That's the God PPS. Damn it! I know, I know, I know. I'm trying. I'm trying to do so many things at once. Line up. Uh, let's get a and good he look was at the map. Smoking with cigarettes. Because I haven't paid attention to one thing. Oh, so there's nothing down here. So we got a we got a key. Oh, it just must be one of these doors that was previously locked before. That's what it was. Yeah. I've got the key down here. We got to go upstairs. Then use it. It's so weird walking around with just the D-pad. Yeah, how is that? It's hard. Stiff? It's stiff. Mm. Uh, oh, church's rear key. At least you just have to walk up to the door yeah. to ha make it happen. I'm pretty close, I think, to beating uh, Final Fantasy VII Remake. You are? Yeah. Uh-oh, doggies. Uh-oh. Like oh! Bowser's castle. There's, and the phone's ringing. Oh, my gosh. What is this hallway I'm in? <laughs> this, this mechanic sucks. Fuck. I can just reload the game. Fuck. Answer the phone. Hello? The phone hung up. Okay. What? It actually let me what? answer the phone, though, in the middle of the fight. Some reprieve? Where'd they go? Oh, oh. That's what I gotta do. Wait till they're right on me. Oh, doggies. Where'd he go? I'm still fine. This, again, we put it on easy, so. Good. Cerberus. <laughs> Based off the Doberman Pincher. Now, I wonder if this was better with the light gun. Had to be, dude. It had to be. Because the light gun had a D-pad on the back, so you'd probably move around with that. And then you would aim at the screen and actually, you know, you could fucking... Like, if you line it up in Duck Hunt, you could headshot shit, you know? Yeah, dude. Even back then. I wonder how you moved, though. They, Did it move on its own? Was it a rail? What? The oh. Gun, the gun survivor version? No, on the back of the gun con, too, or oh. the gun con, there was a D-pad. So you probably still had a thumb D-pad on the top of the gun with your other hand. Oh, or on the side. Like, I remember the light guns for the Dreamcast had that. Yes. So you could, like, hold it and move if you needed to. It those is, were cool. It, I had those for, uh... It's locked. Dude, being able to play House of the Dead at home and not fucking wasting thousands of quarters into the machine. You can actually beat it? Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah, you could beat it. You put in, like, a code. I actually, funny enough, I found hidden in the uh, booklet when I open this up. I'm going to join to the uh, Capcom Edge. I think they get my, that, dude. Get my Capcom Edge gear. But I found a code here for... I thought this was funny. It's um, infinite uh, continues and always find status. So it was like a bunch of digits that you... You see that? Oh. That you put into apparently... Somewhere where you can put codes? Yeah. I, I don't know uh, if that's in the... Menu or it's definitely not like in game on the pause screen. I didn't see anything like that. Item, file, map, huh. exit. That's it. What done though? That's all we got. Okay, so I'm in and I'm back. I'm back. Back in the same location. Let's go back out. Let's go back out. Need to I don't do. Pizza Hut you don't do? Oh, man. Yeah. Junior special. Mayonnaise on the left? Always on the left. Always okay. on the left. We came out there. Can we go into the restaurant? It's locked from the other side. Okay, and the movie theater or whatever at the end of the hall is, is locked. I think this is a city in England, if I remember. Oh. It's, um... It's another place where Umbrella was testing. And they think they're more, according to the church manager, more important than Raccoon City's tests. So what could be going on here? Are they developing a tyrant? Probably. Oh, shit, dude. Is that a liquor? Yeah. Are we combining Resident Evil 2 and 3 and 1 enemies? Oh, oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh, my God. He's, he's certainly taking after his name, Brian. Back it up, back it up. This guy's stuck here. I should just let him chill. Focus on though. one. Yeah, I'm on. We're playing on easy, so it's, the music gets intense here. I am backed into a corner. Yeah, you should just 
I'm gonna just keep pumping bullets into him. Okay, now we're a caution. Okay, one liquor's dead. I'm gonna do a quick turn here. Quick turn, buddy. There we go. Quick turn. What? And two shots at the ground. Oh, and he slashed me. He got airtime. He had mad hops. Look at that. Yeah, oh, dude. he's down. Okay. Take that, uh, that green herb now, maybe? I haven't found a red herb to mix it with, so maybe I'll just take it now and heal my caution status, right? Why not? Yeah, if you got if you got more than one. Yeah, right? <laughs> I don't have more than one, though, Brian. I got a Glock and a key. It's cracked. Fuck. It's kind of cool seeing um, the, the, like, low res like version of the i guess it, it's like the the sprites are totally different from what is in resident evil 1 and 2 for these enemies like they kind of yeah. look like the resident evil 2 zombies like they look like the city zombie but they're blockier almost everything yeah. everything's a little bigger and the liquor was just straight up like fucking triangle hand yeah you know what i mean yo what is this did we just get raided Oh, you don't say. Who did that? Charles just Oh, us. thank what you. Up, Charles, how you doing? Thank you. The fucking phone keeps ringing here. It's probably another prank call. Hey, now you can I'm answer it, Charles. Please, and they're going to come and get you, okay? Once again, thank you, Charles. Welcome to all of your birthday. Uh, well, you can get a little physical, because I can get a little physical, too. Women. Charles, thank you for getting a little physical, too. Thank you for getting it. Which, your boy's here on a hot Wednesday night. Shouts out. Shouts out. The pure, the pure gamers. Good times tonight. Yeah, he was streaming earlier today. Yeah. I know he's streaming tomorrow. Charles, were you uh, were you sipping on some cigars this evening? What kind of cigars were you, were you partaking in? Were they Cubanos? In? Some fine Cubans? You able to get cigars? A cop, please. A little physical, too. Get a, a little physical, too. A little physical, because I can get a little physical, too. I like that. A gun call, please, and they're gonna come and get you, okay? Okay. Bam. I'm gonna now call them right know. now. I'm at the phone. I'm dialing nine one, one eleven. Ready over one. I'm dialing nine eleven. What? What? Have you ever heard people use that instead of saying nine one one? They'll repurpose the term. That only means one thing in in my vocabulary. So I wouldn't say dial 911 to call the police. No. I, but, like, some people say that. Yeah. I don't know. Four uh, Does anyone say 411? I listen to 311, baby. Because uh, I'm a pussy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I don't know. Not. What kind of fucking hallway is this? Uh, outdoor. No. This van wasn't here before. This van's got some high, high octane graphics, I tell you. Oh, there's there is a run button. Thank God. Uh, I use the crack key. We're heading inside. Nine nine nine. It's emergency. Yeah, uh, Charles, we're playing Resident Evil Survivor or Gun Survivor, depending on. Whoa. Oh. Danny DeVito's in this oh. game. Oh. What's up, small fry? Uh, yeah, Resident Evil Gun Survivor, or Resident Evil Survivor. I don't know why we, we keep with the, uh, the Japanese titles. Because we... The so, only reason they changed the fucking title was because of Columbine. What do you mean? Gun Survivor? Is, yeah. Is that... Did you read about that? Is that real? Yeah. They changed the name of this game. They, they changed oh, the name... Oh, that makes sense. And it was 2000. Out, yeah, the reason... And I played that. That first call had a clip. He calls the Columbine staff office. Yeah. That's so weird. So Whoa. because of Columbine, called, they called took Joker. out light gun support for the U.S. version. That's the North right. American version, and they changed the title to just Survivor. That's right. That's why That's why that I keep so making funny, that point yeah. because it's like, fuck you guys. Like, yeah. Just call the game what the game was. But at that point, uh, video games were kind of like uh, at the same level that uh, – music had been in the early 90s where there was just so much scrutiny to point the finger at this new medium and it was video games video games cause violence video games cause violence video well, games you had that bitch tipper gore well that was for the music right but oh like my yeah god same sort of thing so it was what just are you like, trying to let's do let's take the gun thing out of the fucking title and 
you know. And we got this shit. If you're an employee and you're borrowing a book, please use your ID. Yep. Your ID card should be kept on Bitch. you at all times. If you're going to work in this facility, it's going to be a professional environment. We all have to come here and treat this like our home. And I swear to God, I will find out who farted in my cubicle. Who farted in my chair? Boom. Boom. Let's Not see. Cool. This is like a bank. Kind of, kind of, kind of fucking transactions going on upstairs. You got a loft in your foyer with just like banking desks and lamps nothing even not, not even a pen or a knickknack it's probably all digital this is umbrella we're talking yeah. so maybe back in 2000 they even had you know ipad kind of interfaces they wanted to is that technology kind of represented in the Re resident evil games or it, it's kind of like crt tvs and shit still it's of the time uh back then i think we had like lcd was like the LCD yeah there are there projection. are there are there flat screens like in the nest labs and stuff like in umbrella or, I can't remember. or are they like crt tubes I'm trying to think of the monitors in the movie or, or in the original? in the games no in the, in the video I, I games i think there were monitors back then oh shit oh. hunters hunters look at look at that's a totally different look for these fucking guys yeah these look like green the blood why well, yeah wow Dude, it's like Mortal Kombat on Super Nintendo. We're doing fucking sweat instead of blood? Get out of here. I need fuel, I need fire, I need blood, which I desire. Go! <laughs> See this? The Luger. Oh, you got fucking Steve's gun. Give me the Luger. Why can't I pick it up? You're not Lu loud. Fucking Luger me. Hmm. That's interesting, right? Yeah. Everything else in this game, you walk up to it and you picks it up. Do you have to drop your other gun? I. Oh, do I have full inventory? I don't know. Full slots? No. Oh, I got two oh. first aid. Damn. Yeah, you I'll got combine full, these two. You got full slots, dude. Let me combine these two. Interesting you don't get a slot view. You just get the chest view, but it's always on you. Yeah. It's like, the ch it's like always having a chest, but it only has eight slots. <laughs> Boom. Does it? I don't know how many it has. Let's I see. Know. Hopefully you can pick One, it up now. One, two, three, four, five. So maybe it went down. Let's see if I can pick it up now. If not, you got a combined herb. Yeah, which is, I'm fine with. Pack it up. Hey, you were right about that, hey. Brian. <laughs> Handgun D. Let's uh. Let's check it out. And while we're checking it out. Let's do another Discord call. All right. If you could, if you would, Brian, if you would please. Let's um, handgun D. Yo, let's Let equip this. talk to. I want to talk to someone. G Manners, what up, G Manners? Oh, hello. Yo. Hi, G Manners. <laughs> hey, you want to get physical? Cause I can get physical too. Cause I could get a little physical too. I could get a little physical too. Little physical too. How about you? You like uh, you into any physical acts? Uh, I'm done earlier today. I guess that's physical enough. Have you been doing any kind of uh, exercise Noise. routine or? Six. Um, yeah, just like a, just like a running schedule type. Running of thing schedule. I, I like that. I like oh, yeah. A running schedule. <laughs> that's important. Keep the immune system strong in these times. Definitely. Uh, but um, how can we help you? Yeah, I have a question for you guys. I um, I had been recently going back through the old PPSs. Oh, like interesting. I'm, I'm on like PPS 25 now. Where oh, very interesting. Well, I'm curious. Uh, I'm curious to hear. Playing, uh, I'm curious to hear playing. about these old episodes because like, we're we're in 350 something now. This would be 358. And I don't remember the 100s, let alone the 200s. And you're in the third. <laughs> you're in the 30s. You said. 25. Yeah, I'm on a 25, which you're playing Zombie U. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> oh god. The game probably just came out at that point. Yeah, it did. And it was like the only thing anyone had on the Wii U. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, tell us a little awesome. bit about that. 
Um, I haven't finished that one, but like PPS 22 was the first time where you actually called the the stream the poorly played stream. It just like kind of came out of nowhere. You didn't really be like, oh, yep, here's the name. It's like, oh, all right, yeah. It was certain... a it was a natural evolution, huh? Yeah, something like that. So... Okay. Oh, I got dogs on me. I got dogs on my six, but I got the D gun, so I'm I'm gonna yeah, get the, dude. I'm gonna get in a corner, and then shoot I'm gonna shoot these dogs. Gun. So, uh, yeah, I remember playing in my living room on an old MacBook and first trying to stream, and it was like barely, it was like 10 frames a second. I think Eric was yeah, in the, a couple of those. Yeah. Yeah, the old Minecraft streams. Oh, yeah, Minecraft, baby. Yeah. First streamer's game. Every good first streamer's game is Minecraft. That's right. That's what you learn on. You cut your teeth on the Hapog. I talk about the Hapog capture card a lot back in the day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now we're using the but, Legato. <laughs> yeah, you had that, then you played like a... You did a stream of Left 4 Dead 2. Okay. Then you Orange played box. through the entirety of Lollipop Chainsaw. Yeah, I do remember... I think Lollipop Chainsaw is the first game that I beat on stream. That's the first oh, game yeah. I ever, like, started and finished on a stream. Okay. Um... Yeah, so you're are you are been... you listening to these or are you sitting and watching these things? Um, there's I'm, a lot I'm... of Rocco and Kevin in the background of the early shows. Yeah, no, I'm working from home right okay. now, so like I have this up on like another screen, so I second sort of screen see it here or there. Yeah, doing the second screen tech. I like I like to hear that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I got a liquor. Also had like what the that right terrorist attack. Old card game. It's like TPS. Oh, eight. we used to do. Yeah, we used to do a lot more card games and board games. Like, uh, I remember Eric would bring on a wrestling board game. That's where we got all those old wrestling sound drops in. But the uh, terrorist attack game was like something someone gave us at PAX. These these liquors oh, haven't yeah. even swiped me. They've tried to, but What's they like pass you. I what I remember you guys saying in the uh, in the stream, you guys found it on a trash can with like yeah. a, with the uh, <laughs> oh, that's metal, right. with, a, with with a metal CD yeah. that you guys play in the background. We we found that someone had left it at the end. You find all kinds of things at the end of yeah. packs. Yeah, well, I remember <laughs> we also knew somebody who like worked for the card, company, a card based game. I remember... Well, uh, our, our artist friend Daniel DeSalt had made a bunch of art for some different card-based yeah. games. We got a bunch of those. I think we played some of those on the stream. No, well, the, but there was like, a, there was like a, a company that was putting out a bunch of those games, and we played one. And then we, out, we also played like the prototype Cards Against Humanity. Oh, on the PBS? Yeah. Oh, that's right. Remember, like, we went to PAX East. They gave us the original starter box. That first box. And then we played that, um, I think it was you, Eric... Me, Rocco. I think Derek even showed up for that one. We had wow. the we had the uh, camera up on a um, on that scaffolding we used for the Christmas cast. I remember, yeah. Pointed straight down so everybody could see. Are you watching all these? Are these on uh, YouTube? Um, manners. So on the Mega Six Four archives, the furthest back you guys have is is probably played stream one eighty seven. Yep. Good number. But somebody. Yeah, I I don't know who made this, but there's like this um like an archive dot org. Yeah, there it's like Mega Six Four Archives like dot GitHub, and they oh, have good. all the old like oh, oh that's cool podcast from like one to three hundred and twenty six, and then because I know um, that stuff's out there, but it's like it's cool that that's floating around at what? some at, in some way. Yeah, because I yeah. Didn't really I didn't really archive the show until we started doing it. Um, you know. <laughs> It started out as like, hey, Mega64, like, let me figure out streaming. And they were like, all right, you know, and mm -hmm. like, it couldn't hurt, you know. So <laughs> it, it just started out of like, I wanted to figure out what streaming was and how to do it. Yeah. So we started the PPS and like, I had everyone help out for a while, but it wasn't really like a thing I even thought would keep going or would go anywhere. And there was no thought to archive it back in the day. It wasn't until it was like, Oh, like, fucking, we should probably keep these and upload them to YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's a, so the this GitHub archive only goes up to PPS 1, 110, and then okay. the YouTube jumps to 187, so there's like... There's a gap. Yeah, there's a gap. I bet there's somewhere, you know, someone, streams. someone's got them on a hard drive, dude. That shit's going to be worth gold in the future. Yeah, it's one of, I gotta, I gotta somehow make it or cause some kind of tragedy. We, we have them on... Uh... So it's like Google worth. Drive. 
So it's worth archiving. This fucking. They're, they're all there. It's just a matter of finding them. And oh yeah, no, Brian. No, no, no. I, I, like we already... Royce took care of it a long time oh, ago. Okay. Do we have access to certain shows? We we have access to anything that Royce kept. Kept. Which oh, a was manhole Everything. Opener. So we have yeah. all, all the missing parts. It's just where I don't, do we archive? I it? don't have time to yeah. sit there and upload all the previous PBSs and make sure that they're all compliant. Some of them aren't even compliant anymore to be uploaded anymore <laughs> to YouTube. So it's just kind of like you got some of the best yeah. moments out of that. I I put uh, episode 300. I think I put a lot of effort into collecting moments from across from pps1 to at that point 300 and uh th i know that episode's got a lot of the old clips yeah there was a lot of good fun stuff man i, yeah, I forget i i was thinking about you know how every fucking streamer the typical look is like the led lighting array around you know i've got it around the perimeter of the room but you see a lot of like Red and blue LED lights behind streamers, like shoot, shooting on like their bookcases full of games and stuff. Yeah, uh, I yeah. invented lighting for streamers <laughs> because every week when I came in to do the PPS in the old studio, before we even had the painted background, I would hang. Yeah, uh, I remember. I would hang a wall scroll to cover up the room lights, and I would set up a blue and a green gel in opposing corners to give fucking light an yeah. actual lighting effect to my stream I, I i gotta be the first one to ever yeah, do that I, I think you're one of the original game streamers again shouts people, out people forget <laughs> mega 64 is i mean one the, of the oldest running podcast but this show alone is weekly and yeah we're in episode 358 so i mean people stream every day yeah we're doing it every week but 358 every week? Like, how many fucking years is that? We don't... Uh, we make up more than we ever miss. So, what? Well, well, I mean... I can't pick this up? Oh, there we go. It's uh, almost a year. If you just watch one episode, you can... You watch over a day of Mega 64. Or of, of just the, PBS. Uh, including all the little Mega point fives. On that archive GitHub, the... All of the old, like, uploads, they are all dated, too. So, the first stream oh. was dated, what, May 26, 2012. Oh, 2012? Really? That's, I've been, that's yeah. the earliest. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. That's the first stream. Is 2012, so that's eight years of streaming. You know, and, and back then, I, I think you were probably doing it weekly even from the start. I think but it was yeah. always weekly, yeah. For, um, as long as I started calling it the PPS, which you said happened a couple episodes in. Yeah, yeah, it was like in the 20s is where you I started. Definitely, I definitely thought of it, and then someone pointed in, I still remember from years back, someone call a caller like you pointed out that I have a thing for alliteration. And I had to ask him what that meant. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> but, uh, but uh, you know, poorly played. Uh, I definitely do have a thing for alliteration. And, yeah. And so there was some thought into the stream. Hold on real quick. Frank Jalapeno, do the math again. If it was 2012, that's not almost six years. Did he say that? And and I just, see, saying, I was just going to let it go. And, unless, they, unless they were saying know. that we switched from uh, Ustream to Twitch six years ago, that I think might have been... True, because but we... did did I do the PPS on UStream? Yeah, originally we did everything on UStream. But or I know the podcast, but the fucking PPS too. I thought so. I'm too lazy to reload, so I'm just gonna shoot those two extra bullets because they're infinite. This one, this gun only holds eight though. Brian. But yeah, uh... yeah. I, I thanks for filling us in on uh, yeah the, uh, on these old archives. I'm glad you're watching them while you're at home and you're enjoying yeah, the to... back. <laughs> There's a big backlog of stuff. Yeah, you're, trying to catch up. If you're into it. It'll take catch a little up. while, but I'll You don't need to there. catch up. Yeah, but you can jump right into the 300s, and, uh, you know, it's it's smooth sailing. I figured out what I'm doing now. Yeah. You just get yeah, to see before, the like, authentic me. Yeah, before you had it, and before you had a title and everything, you weren't exactly sure on how you should schedule and everything, but now you get it all. Yeah. I'm sure I was asking a lot of the chat. It down. It, a oh, lot of those dude. early shows were talking to the chat and interacting with those early uh, uh, viewers to help me learn how to stream yeah, and dude. fix the problems and work out the bugs. That, that was so important, the people who were there at the jump. And I bet a lot of those people are still in our fucking like chat today. Jor Whoa! Jordan Jones is one of those. Like Jordan Jones has been Shouts around. out since back then kevin hilt's been thank around. you i know killer dls has been around since back then those those are long-standing names that i know for sure totally man is there sure. anyone Jasmine, jacking off to this right now i don't know I... if she was seeing him back then but 
it was definitely mm. yeah and then uh real quick it was uh it was royce who like compiled everything and archived them but then uh Sade's actually made the website that, uh, oh, okay. that you and I have access to, or the the, yeah, the GitHub. The GitHub. But yeah, no, that I'm glad that people are able to still get access to it, um, because like I said, I don't think that's an endeavor that anyone here can really partake in, for mm -hmm. several reasons. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, we're trying to Always make, busy. you know, people are complaining about our output now. Yeah, we're trying. It, it, yeah, it's just priority wise. Like, are they? I don't. Know. I feel like you guys are putting out too much stuff for me to. Oh, keep up they. With. You know, the fucking wolves are always at the There's door. A, the, yeah. They want more. They're never satisfied. They ask us where version four is. The people <laughs> complain <laughs> about uh, output and what we're doing and everything like that. Like, as long as you guys are streaming every week, twice a week now for each, almost every person. We've doubled here. since yeah. since quarantine. We've doubled our live output so it's yeah so again doubled. like yeah, yeah you guys have had to shift everybody's shifted right now because of the fucking Man COVID hole. bullshit so yeah you know we're, we're it's we can't go outside to shoot like what do you mean you know like <laughs> That's that's some of the thing I keep having to tell some well, of my friends yeah, too. Yeah. Like like that. that's a real bummer because like God, there was so much stuff. Yeah. There is such a pile of things I have made. Yeah. To film with that we have not been able to film with, and we can't like. And I want to try them out so fucking bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and yeah, so again, like Death Flips says it, but you know we're more than just most other people. Back in the day, um, what he said is basically uh, if. If we only did a weekly podcast and nothing else, they'd be happy. So many people only did a weekly podcast. Mega64's podcast has been around since 2004 or 2003. Guide map. So it's been around for the last 16, 15 to 16 years. The PPS has been around since 2012. So it's been around for eight years. Like, basically, as long as the formats have existed. Where do I use a manhole opener? There's a fucking, uh, there's a fucking foothold in there. Right, so, right, right. I so, mean, in videos pre-YouTube. Yeah, you know, it's, pre YouTube, it's... they they were putting shit online because they just, hey, we can upload our videos and people can view it from anywhere. Okay, you know, so it's it's pretty cool. It's really awesome. Yeah, it's cool that it goes back that far now and like seeing seeing those clips and hearing that they're actually like enjoyable. Because yeah. I I would think it'd be a little hard to. Even on my streams from a year ago, it's like, oh, I feel more confident on the mic after every show. Absolutely. Yeah. Not. You know, it, it's, yeah. a, it's a little bit weird how you had it before. Like you had a, you had Skype running through, I guess, an iPhone that you hooked up to a speaker or something. <laughs> dude, <but> like, <laughs> Skype, dude. So, Fucking Skype. There, there weren't ways originally to like yeah. have oh, shit connected. Oh. You also, know? I'm a sucker for uh, just making my own way. Yeah. Like I know. Mm -hmm that I could try and do this. I mean, even the way I run this show is weird. Like, all these sound effects come from a tiny fucking speaker at the bottom of my mic. Yeah. <laughs> I don't pipe the music uh, ha hasn't really that I play. Much, man. I don't even pipe Brian into the computer. Brian comes through this tiny fucking speaker here. Yeah. It's, uh, it's just the, it's a way that I know how I would like to do this thing. And it's changed over the years. And I've definitely, like, been stubborn but i've taken some advice uh from this wonderful community before and it's worked out and those early streams yeah really helped what, what having people, those people there and, and what people don't realize is like there there's a huge huge difference in uh in like what what garrett just explained uh compared to like you know as we all know now again there are all of these resources, all of these tools, all of these different methods, all of these. There are like six different capture companies now. You could do internal, external. You could oh, do, shit all works so you, you know, seamless so, now. Switching so, is so easy now. Yeah, now there's a stream, stream deck. Decks like Garrett didn't used to have a stream beautiful. deck, which makes it so much easier for him because now instead of it being, where, hold on, where's my mouse? Let me click, da da da, this and that, whatever. He, uh, he a, can hold the mouse. I have the mouse. He's. Pressing buttons on the little switcher right there. He's assumed full control of the show. And if you're playing a PC game and you're down a screen, the, the stream deck's like a fucking must-have. Yeah, and and so... If and, you and like it hitting buttons and, like and it I does do. a million different things on top of that. Yeah. Like, like not only does yeah, we it can switch, launch sound effects from you that. can, yeah, launch sound effects, you can order, or, like, you can a build pizza. anything no, into the... No, you can't. <laughs> oh my god. You absolutely can. You could run a script <laughs> yeah. that orders a pizza? Uh -huh. Fuck. Yeah, hey it's ridiculous. Like, so what it would do is take you to the website, go through all the things, authorize the order, and hit I can't, it for I you. I keep going in and out of this. I know. I'm just amazed that I can hit local record, go live in one button press. Yeah, and and so it's uh, 
it's really cool. It's that... cool coming this far, and I. It's weird. I don't think of myself as a as a streamer. Yeah, neither. Like do I don't I. have that on my business card. I don't. But I, I don't am. think of it, but like, what I think of myself personally, because this was what I was going to say. The different uh, uh, schools of thought, like Garrett had to build this set every single day, like he said. Every episode, he gets better from learning, and that's how you always learn anyways. But I also had the benefit of learning a lot of this stuff in sound engineering classes in school. So, like, it's really impressive to see Garrett's setup is the most analog setup I think I've ever seen, and it works <laughs> so well. For me. For him. Other it, people are like, you're insane. Like... When I did that synth stream yeah. of me writing the theme song, it like drove people who use uh, you know DAW or like uh, Ableton and like real yeah. real recording producers. Drove them it nuts. drove them fucking nuts because they're like, <laughs> "What are you doing?" And it's because like, and this is a this is a really cool thing which I think you'll see as you go through the evolution of Garrett's show, um, and and even watching the podcast if you have, is that it's not there is no right way. You know, it's well, yeah, not, that's what I love it, about being creative. It, yeah, it's art. Like, there's no difference. End result on tape, what Garrett puts down, we have to tell people that this all comes through a mic on a Bluetooth speaker. So it's going through, again, like he said, just this well, mic. Yeah, there's 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 things in the signal path that I want. I want Brian to sound the way he sounds. Yep. Which was... It took a, you know, there was definitely a time where we had some failing equipment, which sucked, yeah. you know, and it was like working the bugs out, but I feel like we've got it really fucking good now. I and I, so. I haven't heard the complaints that I used to, Yeah. and I've been really happy with the way that sounds now, too. It does. It sounds good. Like, I'll go back and I'll, like, I'll listen to our older episodes, and even with that janky mic, which was specifically janky that we had, yeah. the, 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 the shell of I feel bad mic. that you're wired now, but no, honestly, it doesn't seem like we're moving around a lot. Honestly, I've, I've had this debate with other people as well, like, because I come from a place where I work in studios and I learned in studios, you just, it's so much more reliable to just have a fucking wired mic. Yeah, wireless shit and batteries and dealing with everything it is else. To be like, okay, so is it a signal issue? Is it a battery issue? Is it a, is it a input issue? Is it an output issue? Is it a handshake issue? Is it a fucking phantom power? Like, hardline it into your yeah. fucking board. And that's oh, kinda, here's the manhole. So that's kind of what Garrett's done. At every step of each one of these pieces of equipment, he has individual level modulation. And within each one of that, equalization as well. And now, I've done it over time that I have, like, been constantly... Like, I just bought new uh, gear yeah. today on Amazon. Yeah. It's not essential, so it's going to take a while. But uh, I'm always, like, upgrading stuff here in the studio. And that is what, what makes is you... I don't know. You, you push, push the, switch. the switch. That's what makes Hal. What are you doing, Hal? <laughs> That's what makes this show so cool. That's what makes this different than any other show. Is that from the ground up? Oh, it's PT. From the ground up, you are you built this show, you know, and it's it's specific and it does exactly what you want it to. Oh my God, and cockroaches! That, and that's what the fucking medium is for. We are, in my belief, that's why I don't like to call myself a streamer, and I think you're the same. We're broadcasters. Oh, yeah. I'm broadcasting, baby. We're, we're Twitch broadcasters. We're I'm a, media broadcasters. I'm broadcasting online. here. And we're broadcasting video games. We're we're treating the show like a radio show. We're like running talk bits. Show. We have pre-recorded Comedy segments. Show. It, it's, it's so much you got music than a dude sitting with a headset playing we'll, fucking we we'll a game. prank call to Tylon. I'm getting my ass kicked by these fucking hey, baby, bugs. you like ice cream? Should I just uh, get out of here? I'm yeah. Just, I mean, oh, wait. I no, I killed that one, though. The, yeah, the Howard Stern of video games. I, w I would say pretty similar. The Garrett Hunter of fucking Twitch. Like I'm the um, I'm the boy of all media. Hell yeah, hell yeah. So yeah, I love the show you guys have built from the ground up here. It's definitely different from every anything else on Twitch, as far as I know and have. Found. Well, I try. I try to be um, a step ahead of the pack, if you know what I mean. You know what I'm Perfect. saying. I yeah. try to be a pervert, is you what are I'm a saying. Pervert. Yeah. But yeah, dude. But so thanks, you, thanks, man. Yeah. It's, yeah. That's that's cool to hear that you're enjoying those old shows, man. Any uh, any yeah, parting words before we let you? go? And I'm glad you called in and and you uh, got through with us. So this yeah. is the first time we've spoken. Uh no, no I think I called been, in like last. G Manners. We, I remember the name because I remember okay. thinking of G Mantle from um, Neo Geo. Well, thank you for being. Uh, <laughs> 
a graciously mannered. A loyal mannered caller, then, man. Oh yeah, dude. Thank we you. like yeah, hearing from yeah. you. Any parting words? I don't know. Uh, I gotta kill no, these bugs. Has that uh, is that wheel up for spinning? We or? did. No, we spun it. Tylon. Call next did week. You? Oh, okay. Oh, Tylon sorry, got it. Anyways. And we're gonna do a prank call. So I'm gonna call a target. Oh, all right. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna call a target here in a second. I know. I got I got a plan, Brian. All right. All right. Thank you, G-Man. All right. Thank cool. You, yeah. No. Thanks for taking my call. Anytime. I need to reload. Shoot the wow, bullet. It's, reload. It's already 8:30. I know. I think it's I'm gonna hop there. in another caller just because we've only had two callers so far. Wait a minute. But I'm gonna let you get through this part so okay. that you don't get uh, bug fucked. I'm getting it. You're getting buggered. I'm getting buggered. Uh, Buggered up the arse. Let's, let's see. Oh. Oh. Right before they get to you, you gotta pause or you gotta back up. Cat Turn pause, it. Cat pause, if there was a cat quick, pause. a quick fucking. There's a run, but there's no quick turn. Wait. They should. Um, I think they're dead. You know what? They should let me be Wait. the mass singer. Shit, 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 shit. Oh, I'm down with Nick Cannon. I, I like you know. I sold him his latest uh, they turban. Should, they should let me be. I want to be the mass. Singer. Me and Nick got it. We go way back, dude. I'm like, in. I'm like Mariah Carey's god uh, father to some of those children. Yeah, like. I I get you in on that show. You want right? to be the mass singer? I want to be the mass singer. I'm gonna go there. You I'm think gonna, you got it? Yeah, man. Get on there, like the yeah, Sean King. Give me King your stand. best. Yeah, give me your best, like. Your way to yeah. beautiful girl. That's why it'll never work. You'll have me suicidal, suicidal when you say yeah, it's drops. over. Damn all these beautiful girls. They only want to do you dirt. Oh. They'll have you suicidal, suicidal when they say it's over. Oh, Brian, that was fucking beautiful, dude. You should go on Mass Singer. Uh, I'm going to do a petition right now. We're going to drop it in the link. We're going to try to get you on the Mass Singer. I'm going to make a prank call when we come back. We've got we've got some show left. Let's fit it all in. Let's fucking power load this. Slow down, never like me in the night 
calling that target right now. All right. See if this works. Got to keep Baptasia up in case we get to Hello, there. target at Growthmont. Hi, this is Brinkle. Am I in there? Hello, Hi, target? Uh, yes. Uh, sorry, I was looking for the target store. This is, uh, we don't give locations, so it doesn't matter. But, uh, this is the one attached to the mall, right? Yes. Okay. Now, um, real quick, I just had a quick question. I'm here with my cousin, uh, Bronald. And uh, we know there's a pandemic going on and stuff, but uh, you guys are open, or what's the what's going on? Is is there a policy? Hello, sir. No, we are still open. Um, hours are a little different. We're open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Okay, so 6 p. Oh, so you're already closed. But what are you guys doing there? Doing stock right now? Yes. What? You, uh, wow. Okay. Sounds like you guys are getting tired. I mean, they're probably dang. working working you all ragged, right? Uh, yes, sir, 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 is there anything? All right, sorry, I don't mean to keep you busy, I don't, can you, um, we need to talk to someone about returns, so I know, you know, when we were stockpiling, me and Bronald, uh, we just got a bunch of, uh, shit we don't need, honestly, a lot of food, products, and things that we've opened, and we've eaten half, some expired items, but if we could get in there and return these items, what do you think? Is that a possibility? Are you guys curbside pickup to return as well? Uh, no, sir. You would have to bring your receipt in with all of the defective items. Okay. And we may be able to help you. You sound like you could use some help there, uh, sister. You know what I'm saying? Excuse me, uh, ma'am. Sir, there's a lot of people that need some help right now. Is there anything no. that I can help you with? I agree. I agree. It's I'm um, shouts out. You got to respect the first responders, right, Bronald? Yeah. You, thank you for all your help. Yeah, and well, you guys are out there. You guys are are holding down the fort and everything, keeping this country uh, clean and uh, open and every you know. Uh, uh, technically, I'm not really a first responder. Okay, oh. you're a modest, uh, you know, I, I like that, I like that. But and, you're out there, like, you know, with them, too. Like, yeah. you know, they're, you're there, they're there. Yeah. I, I put that up there, I'm not working. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know if you can hear Bronald, he didn't have, uh, we, we're on speakerphone here, it's kind of limited in quarantine. And like we said, we're just trying to get some of these half-eaten, rotten uh, vegetables back into the produce department or something. If we can get store credit or whatever even, but, you know, you're saying I gotta have a receipt. You got it. Yes, sir. Okay. You have to have a receipt. I'm looking to maybe work something else out, you know, because I don't... This corona shit, uh, pardon my French, uh, it's really it's really bumming me out. And you know, some of this food has definitely been eaten, but I, I want my goddamn money back, if you know what I mean. So. Oh, well, yeah. sir, if you are that... want your money back that bad, you might just have to call kind of talk to a manager. Talk to a manager. Well, can I... Yeah. Uh, am I speaking to a manager now? No, unfortunately, all the floor managers are gone for the day. And you're just doing stocking shelves there, what, by yourselves? It doesn't even sound like you're wearing a mask. Uh, sir, can I help you with something? Yeah, you can help me with the uh, questions I'm asking. And if I don't get my way, I might come down there. Sir, me not wearing a mask is none of your problem. I might come down there with a gun. How about that? <laughs> oh, what, sir. you like that, Bronald? You were gonna come down with a gun. I'm what if I? You don't think I'm fucking serious? Maybe I'll come down there with a Luger from Resident <laughs> Evil <laughs> Gun Survivor. What is it, Bronald? Is there, is there anything I can help you with? Uh, yeah, I want to call in a bomb threat to Target. No! No! Uh, I am going to have to hang up the phone and call the authorities if this is a real threat. Okay, sorry. All right, hey, listen, it's all been it's all been fun with you on the phone, you know. <laughs> She said, "No, she sounds cute, Bronald." No, stop. Uh, okay, excuse me. Um, is is uh, 
Is there any? Are you aware that there is a pandemic going on and there are thousands of people dying every day? You, I, is this a prank call? This is. I I opened with it being a prank call, ma'am. I'm I'm so surprised Sir, that you're still. This is a. You are prank calling at a time like this. Like what? Fuck. There are thousands of people. Dying. I read online that it could be a, a it could be a hoax. Well, that's, well, that's your product, 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 and that is not mine. Okay, well, hey, you've been a deer, and I I thank you. Jeez, uh, sorry. I thank you for all the help, Ronald. Oh. Sorry, uh, he's embarrassed. Jesus Christ. You know we did. You the- two should really be. I didn't do anything. Else. I'm on your side. No, I'm with you there. What was your what was the manager's name? Cindy. Yeah. No, I don't even bother. Don't even do not come back and return anything. We don't want any of your rotten vegetables or any of your half-eaten food See, she, or games wow. that you have unwrapped and played. Because I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we want to bring back uh, Death Stranding. No. I haven't beat it yet. No. All right. Your well, business is not welcome here. Hey, you two should be ashamed of yourselves. Good night, good sir. Good night, good sir. Wow. Uh, oh, she hung up. She hung up. Wow. God damn! I'm, I can't believe that lasted so as long happy. as it fucking did. You think uh, you, 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 you said think you were gonna bring you were gonna go down there with a fucking guy? I, dude, I, I I went crazy. You know why? Because the mastermind has it all under his control. You guys see, the poorly played stream has been around for so long that we've mastered the art Jeez. of live bits. And you're thinking, you know, last couple weeks he didn't want to do the prank call because we were in the middle of this whole thing. How could he get the ball back in his court? How could he keep this ready for the times? And I've mastered it, Brian. I yeah, want to just a, say. With a white Dorner gun threat. I, I just want to say that all within my control. The spider webs are out, and I've got all the pawns dancing. Oh, and shit, we're going to go to a quick commercial <laughs> break. <laughs> I love live bits, baby. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Oh, that was yeah, even... He will on you. You don't stop calling my house. Yeah. You're out of your mind. Don't bring anything over here because I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. What is a dog bowel? A butt bowel? What is that? Listen, don't fucking call over here getting rude with my mother. Are you fucking crazy? What the fuck are you talking about? You are a sick bastard. <laughs> See? What the fuck are you talking about? You are a sick bastard. You know that? Hey, don't mess with me, fucker. Do you, I mean, are you stupid or what? Hey, hey, you know what? You come over here with your fish. Stupid bastard, why don't you come over here right now? I'd love to see this. Right you now. know what, bastard? You Yes. Come on over, okay? Shit from a cow in my field that I can't Brian, I, uh, I'm back. Uh, I don't know if I was ever here. We're, we're here on multiple realms. I love... <laughs> I'm love, not here. I'm not here. I love that, uh, I didn't tune Brian in on what the prank call was going to be. And I love also... He figured it out halfway through. And I love also that the chat is still kind of like... Uh, that can't wait uh, I, like they're losing their minds yeah um i can't believe uh you know sometimes it just th- when you're the puppet master brian you just gotta have control of all elements to make it seem like a dangerous situation 
but it's all safe, baby. How'd you get us to land on Frankel? I, dude, the fucking stars are aligning for me tonight. I don't know what's going on, but like, I had this idea today, and I'm like, I'm gonna execute this next time. Great idea. Next time we get prank call, dude. And then we got a fucking double dose. Yeah, we did. Ben's spin from last week and Tylon's spin. Thank everyone yeah. out there for watching, dude. The last Thank time. You. To Charles for dumping all those Hell viewers yeah. on us too earlier. Yeah. The last time I had something like that work all together so well uh, was when I was at school in world his U.S. history class, sophomore year of high school, and my teacher's like, you know, I my family, yeah, uh, getting a boner at dinner is okay. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what? Your no, teacher no, said? No, 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 no. He he was like, my family puts peanut butter on everything. Oh, okay. And on I'm, their dicks. Dude, no, no, I just... Because a it. dog will lick that. Yeah, dude. And that's no joke. <laughs> but... Cats, too. No, they're I like, we put it on, on everything. Like, fucking, we'll put it with chicken. We'll put it with steak. Uh, we'll even put it with spaghetti. That's not... We'll make a sandwich. We'll put spaghetti inside of a peanut butter sandwich. And I'm like... These guys are back. Oh, what? there's a door. What? Yeah, don't put peanut butter on. No, that. that sounds fucking disgusting. Like in, in my mind, that none of that made any fucking sense, flavor-wise. No. I went and home. Sometimes, yeah. My mom had made a fresh, fucking pot of spaghetti, and I'm what? like, you know what? He I, was I, just I got, talking I, I about it. I have to try it. It's the coincidence. I have, I have, a, I have a jar of Jif. You make your own destiny, man. And I gotta, I gotta give this a go. And it was fucking incredible it was the thing about it that you think is going to be weird is like no the peanut butter is going to be all weird i don't i don't get it thai food if you've ever had thai food that sweet yeah. peanut sauce is just peanut butter basically it's just a, yeah it's just a uh and then yeah peanut butter is noodles this? is totally a thing no one admitted to it, the room it was a permit. it was surprisingly good because what happened was it it melts the peanut butter so you just get this nice roasted peanutty flavor. It, it doesn't taste like on a spaghetti peanut though. Yeah, I know, right? Because I know, like, uh, a couple times we used to go on podcast to that burger joint, and Rocco would get like the peanut butter on the hamburger. Oh yeah. And I tried that a couple times. That was good. That's the thing. Like, again, at like a, a weird hamburger places, they'll do stuff like an egg on top or a fucking peanut butter. I think I think people think peanut butter and they just think of dessert. Pastries. Oh wait, this is September. 6th, 6th, September 6th, 2000 was when the game was released, and it's oh. after the Raccoon City incident, which was 98, so that could canon, uh, canonically put it yeah. in the year 2000 or 2001. What if this is September 6th, 2001, several days before... Oh my god. What if... 911. What, what if the, I say it backwards what now? If I start saying 911. The reason they crashed the planes was because there was a zombie outbreak on those planes, like in Resident Evil Re Regeneration, oh, or whatever that and movie is called. And jet fuel can melt the T-virus. Dude. Oh my god. Well, that's why they had to collapse the buildings, because otherwise it was that or nuke the city of New York. So, sure, um, sure. Because that's how I'm supposed to sound, super coconut. And um, and people might say, oh, we're joking, we're making 9-11 jokes. Bitch, we just had pandemic bomb threats on the show. Yeah. So d d don't even. Yeah. So <laughs> We're poorly played, we are in poor taste. Uh, but yeah. So, oh, dude. Oh, are these Polaroids? What kind of... Uh, look at the generic character. Did they even try to give this guy a fucking personality? No. Look at that what fucking... Fuck? <sighs> I mean, it looks like Silent Hill for uh, all intents and purposes, with just a different skin. I know. It looks like... Uh... Oh, hey, what's up, dude? Who's this little dweeb? I was looking for a tasty wave, and wait, I happened so wait, to stumble you, in here. Are you the tyrant? In this game, I'm. I have amnesia. You know, great storytelling. Oh, great. Uh, you wanted them uh, memento brain. Really, memento. Yeah, I got tattoos down my arm, all up and down it. it says remember. Um, nine one one. Remember, remember life. It says Sammy Jenkins said dial nine one one or something. Shotgun bullets. That's not what you call them. Dude, the Why blind no fish shells? just reminded me. Did, did you, you played that Resident Evil? Degeneration iPhone game, right? Yeah. 
Wasn't that cool? That like, was cool. It was surprisingly underwhelming for a Resident Evil game. But it game, was like, oh, but it was I'm impressive. Leon. I'm for, running it down hallways. Yeah, it was impressive for a phone game. We didn't have sure. like f like really full 3D games. And then somebody earlier in the Discord better than Doom RPG. This I played this for sure. Resident Evil on oh, the yeah. mobile. Resident Evil 4 on mobile. Yeah, was, Resident Evil 4 on mobile was yeah. incredible. I played that. I played that Metal Gear one for shiz. Yeah. The manhole lid is closed. So there was only one open manhole down here. Uh, did we want to take one last Discord yes. call? Let's it's about one nine. Last Discord call. We got a little uh, late start on, but we'll end it a nice two hours. Haven't gone back to the hour and a half format. That's the one thing we were talking to Manners about the format of the show. Yeah. One thing that's changed is we were like two hour streams, hour and a half stream, three hour streams, hour and a half. I like to keep it an hour and a half, but if we go to two, I'll I'll allow it. Yeah, I hate it. <laughs> I'll allow uh, it. You know what? I'm with Sean Shorter Podcast. Well, sometimes you get it out there and you're going, all right, What's uh, what else? Honestly, well, and I haven't been watching a lot of TV, so I got like nothing to fucking dude, talk about sometimes. I, I personally think, and Charles Big Boy is our is our caller here, so, so let's Sorry, get Charles. your opinion on this yeah, too, Yeah, what do you Charles. think about this? Uh, we're going to rapid fire because we have a few people I want to get to them real quick. But uh, Please. I think, I think because of our medium, we're broadcast on Twitch. We don't have advertisers to work around or butt against. The show should be as long as it needs to be. Yeah. And so if it's an hour and 30, it's an hour and 30. If it's two hours, it's two hours. If it's 45 minutes, it's 45 minutes. If, if I, I'm, I'm always more about let's just fill it with good content than I am about let's hit a certain time mark for anything. Sure. Anything. <sighs> yeah. Because you yeah. find that you actually hit the time mark you want if you just – Try to make something good. Especially when you're doing your own thing. Yeah. And, and that's and that's what we do. That's important. So, Charles Big Boy, what do you think? Do you are you more on the side of let a piece be as long as it needs to be, or should there be a limitation in mind? Do you want some kind of format? Or like a format. Charles, big boy. He's he's he wants to free fall. Oh, you're not hearing me. Damn. Okay, I need oh, to be. Oh, there you go. Now now Absolutely on that Martin Scorsese, Joe Dorowski side of things. Oh, you things gotta need to be him. as long as they need to be, baby. They need to be fuck it, three hours so you can watch it as you yeah. please on Netflix, or they need to be eight hours and watch it in a theater for uh, what's it called? Doom. What was he gonna make? Do oh, yeah. oh yeah, is, oh, is yeah. Doom. Jordorowski's Dune. There's a whole documentary I saw on that. Dude. That's great. So for me, I, I, I think that, you know, I, I might have also um, misspoke. Limits are good. I think limits are always a very good thing. I think somebody with no limits. If you want uh, uh, if you want a true art artistic vision, though, I think some creators want limitation because I think it's easier to work within limits because it gives you an idea to where to, right. you know, set, set your limits. But I don't know, someone who has unlimited options, like, no, you know, I want this to be the director's saying it's three hours, we can't edit the scene out. It's yeah. a fucking three hour film. I, I think it's it's definitely about I, oh, identifying I what you, what you want out of it, and then oh, that's shit. how long it needs to be, right? Sure. So you don't want to make something too bulky. You don't want it to, you don't want to like reiterate, you don't want to drag shit on, you want to make sure you get your point across. And that is how long I think something something needs to be. Not however long somebody else thinks it needs to be, you know, or whatever oh, somebody sure, else's sure. point is. That's that's where I think don't limit somebody. If they have a great creative idea, ask them to make sure that that idea comes across. Refine their concept. Yeah. Not limits there, but rather, you know, I think some certain limits, like creative limits, not being able to shoot certain things a certain way, I think that makes you come up with really creative ways sure. to do a similar oh, yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. It forces you to not just go with the easiest first thought because sometimes that that's lost in the translation. It forces you to eliminate less um, less specific examples and makes you think of more specific ones. That's why in old movies, when they showed two people kissing and a door shutting, we knew what happened. Oh, yeah. You know? Or if they showed... Oh, if they were playing within the limitations of, like, hey, we can't sh have a titty scene. Right? Like, So and, this is as close as we get. And to some respect, it's like, hey, if you get the message across, I kind of think watching a sex scene in a movie now as an adult, as, as, as like, when I was a kid, it was like, oh, yeah, that's the movie. Uh, it's the movie with the sex scene. Now it's kind of like, 
Okay, well, we have the internet, so if we want to look up sex scenes, we can just look up porn. Yeah, I mean, Fast Times at Ridgemont High doesn't mean as much as it did back in the day, huh? Because so there's online. Then with the whole Me Too but thing. But then you got those movies that do use the sex scene as a story element. Yeah. Don't you? Like, like, like what's it called? Nymphomaniac, that Lars von Oh, Trier. God, I love that movie. But yeah, and, and so in that movie, that's an artistic decision to use the sex scene specifically to give you... Uh, terror? Well, well, Fucking... To show you something that they, that he knows most people haven't seen. To show me the revolting act of genital mutilation to Dude, where I yeah. cringe yeah. so hard that it's like, oh my god. Oh, I mean, I I watched both of those movies. It's an eight-hour epic, and it is it is. Wait, 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 both. What do you? Which one are you talking about? Lars von Trier's uh, Nymphomania. Nymphomania. Oh, okay. Isn't it too? Yeah, and yeah, yeah. Antichrist. You watch both the back to back. I did, I did not. I, I'm sorry. I, I started talking about Antichrist, but I've never seen Nymphomania. Oh, I've never seen Antichrist. Okay, interesting. Uh, the the only thing I know about Antichrist is the part where he sees the fox in the wo- in the in the woods. So cool, and, and he talks to him. Chaos he goes, anarchy or chaos reigns. Yeah, that's such a yeah. fucking badass scene. That scene is so. Chaos it sounds. Reigns. On paper, well, you guys it sounds have two like sides of the same coin. There, Fucking, you saw you saw right? Nymphomaniac, you saw Antichrist. Yeah. On paper, the talking fox sounds like mall goth, like fucking lame teenager shit, That's, like yeah. fan fiction. <laughs> but it's it's executed so well, and they have like a weird frame rate. They shoot that slow motion in. There's all that fog in the forest. It's a cute ass fox. Yeah. Oh. The voice over the dub you. is like really good. Hey, but back to your um, point. Yeah, let's hear it. Yeah, because it's like gnawing at itself. Yeah, it's chewing at like its injured body. It's yeah, it's like eating its. It's innards. this movie is visually so like, surreal and shocking. Yeah, uh, yeah. Antichrist is. Yes. Absolutely. Oh my god, oh, it's so good. It's that scene so... with the ticks on his hand that stuck in my head. That was the thing that stuck with me for that. Dude. Uh, both that. What's the the. The actress's name too in that. She's so fucking good. Charlotte Gainsborough. Yeah. Gainsbor- she- I don't know how to pronounce her Gainsborough. Yeah, dude. She's but- active in the arts, you know. Gainsborough's last name of Arids. Um, oh, you're right. Hey, um, but back to the point of your call. And can you choose for me? Should we go to the prison or the office? Uh, office. Okay, let's go to the office. And uh, yeah, what what else? Because we want to whip through some other calls and we're rounding out here. What what else can we do for you? Oh, if you want to listen, through, listen, I've given my energy. You guys whiff through some calls. Oh, okay. Yeah, Hell All yeah. Right. Thank you, Charles. Big boy, appreciate it. Great call. A great call from the big boy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hopefully we hear from them again. I really want to hit that this. Was, that was genuine. I'm a big deal. Hell yeah. That's the big boy. He's a big deal. A good, good call. Ryan, Ryan kind of put it perfectly about my idea of limitations. In all seriousness, putting a limit on yourself can make it even better or funnier because then when you put in a corner and you when you're put in a corner and you can't escape that's when your real creativity shines oh dude i had so much more fun making the 15 i wouldn't have made anything if uh there wasn't this like hey just make a 15 second theme song like how hard would that be right like and i spent three four hours on it yeah so 15 seconds but i spent four hours on it i had a fucking blast but if it wasn't for those limitations put around me i never would have done it nope so it's it's a weird thing of a limitation can almost push you. In a yeah, de- a deadline. Ah, uh, look at like, this office. I, I've always argued that a deadline you? forces you to get something done because if you if it was up to you. <laughs> look at this office, dude, Mr. This, X. I mean, our office is something to look at too. But this is like the office of like a 1980s detective. Like, yeah, yeah I got my trench coat and my fedora. Got my embossed umbrella logo behind my desk. And it's got a spider palm. Cabinet of scotch with a spider palm over here. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Just I thought look, it was a spider when you turned Look, around. see, I, I sit the dames on this side. That's how they get my good side. If I sit over here and we had discussed missing persons. The reports. original casting couch. This room has no windows in one door. After um, I find their husbands dead of mysterious circumstances, I plant evidence on them of cheating, see? Then I'm there to take the fall when they've cried right into my arms. Perfect. But Never yeah. seen it coming, did they? Let's talk to Mega Mitt. Oh, do it. I, I dare him. Mega Mitt. Oh, here's the prison chief. This is actually what he sounds like. How you doing, Mega, Mega Mitt? Today we received a reply to our report about the incident where 20 guinea pigs committed suicide the other day. What do you think about that? What do you think about that, Mega Mitt? They might, they might have. Is a he step there? In. They, I, I don't know. 
They have their how, mic muted. How do so guinea they, pigs commit suicide? It's okay. Or is he talking about... Let's talk to the other Charles that was there. Not Charles Big Boy, just regular Charles. How you doing, Charles? What up, what up? How you guys doing? Good. What's up? We're doing good. Happy We're feeling to be it. here. I'm happy to be uh, in the drive through line in about 45 minutes. I'm going to hit up that taco shop for my weekly yeah. carne asada burrito. I, I, might, I might be doing that. I, I had some food at home, but, like, it's been so long since I had, like, a Rito, man. I need a Rito. I got to get – dude, I got to hook my girl up tonight. She did me a huge favor, so I owe her one. Yeah. Car I think I'm going carne asada chips. Ooh. Damn. Just for her. I'm not even going to eat half. I'm not going to eat half of them like I usually do tonight, Charles. Yeah, you will. Yeah. Tr Trish, you know, not, until, Trish. not until they're cold and, not she's, until she's, done eating and them. she's done. Yeah. Then I'll finish. Which, thankfully, I'm for the our, cleanup our crew. girlfriends, they eat, like, this much. And... I'm the cleanup we're crew. We're going to tacos, no burritos? Well, no, I'll do I'll do a burrito for myself. I'm thinking carne asada. What are you thinking? I'm, I'm thinking I might do uh, I think I might do a carne asada burrito myself. Are you feeling? Uh... I don't know, dude, because I might, like, I always talk about maybe going to Vallarta's. After oh, yeah. after the after the show, um, that's a local place here that that has this like awesome buffalo chicken burrito. And they got a drive through and Charles, they all wear masks. Yes. So it's uh, extra safe. Yes. <laughs> very nice. Um, very nice. I'm not a huge fan. Somebody in the chat just brought up a surf and turf. I don't. I'm not a huge fan of beef. Mm, depends on where I'm at. It depends, but I'm not a huge fan of beef and uh, and seafood together texturally and flavor wise i think beef tastes great i think seafood tastes great i think when you put them together you don't taste either um like it's like Ooh, these guys are up again it, huh? it's like it's nice you get that nice texture but i love when you bite into like a shrimp burrito and you get that nice fresh cooked shrimp with texture. Rice? oh shit with rice Even, oh. yeah that's one of the only burritos i like with rice bite me but you what, know, are you a southern california uh me? gentleman no uh i was talking to charles there Hell yes, I am in Los Angeles. Oh, so you're in Los Angeles because they were just saying in the chat they got Vallarta's up there too in the valley. Well, it might be a different Vallarta. Eight one eight till they die. No, I, th I think it's I, a chain. I it, don't it, know Vallarta's. I got a. Uh, you got King Taco. Over in Burbank. Who you got? Oh, yeah. Screw King Taco. Fuck King Taco sucks. <laughs> you go to Wee Man's Chronic Tacos ever? King Taco's better no. than nothing. No, you gotta get the legit. There's there's this one place in Burbank, best taco place around. Alfredo's. Alfredo's. Okay, all right. Alfredo's. Alfredo's and you know, perfect. I was, I got it, and I was like, oh, this is so good. What's? Why is it so good? And I look at the sign. You know what the sign says? What does it say? From San Diego. San Diego. Style. Fuck yeah. The, when you said Alfredo's, and I saw the sign, I'm like, this is San Diego. It ends in a O's. So yeah, anything it, that ends in a yep. Berto's or Beto's. All I need to do is see the pictures, and I know it's it, it, like Alfredo's is probably what they had to call Alberto's out there because the Alberto's. Uh, was taken by somebody else. Like, I guarantee you that's that's all it was. You've obtained at, rope. Looking at this shit, this is exactly what we have in San Diego. Here's the big thing. All right. Here's the thing I'm going to make. Here's the point of that, that, that it is, Charles. I am not going to disagree Whoa. that Los Angeles has exceptionally good tacos, street tacos. Street tacos are incredible up in Los Angeles because a street taco is exactly what makes a burrito incredible, which is... It's just the contents that taste good, no filler. So it's typically meat, some sauce, onions, maybe some, some garnishes that help bring out the flavor. All killer, no filler is what you're saying? Exactly. Most other places. They fill it with rice? They fill it with rice. Beans? They fill it with beans. It's not necessary. They use, they use a tortilla that doesn't utilize it's lard. It's not necessary. You have to use lard in your tortilla for it to taste right. Otherwise, it's that ugly, clean, bag tortilla flavor that we've all had oh, a yeah. thousand times at a potluck from work that we don't like. Mandatory. So. The lard. Uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this now after talking about food. Dude, me too. I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely getting Mexican food now. Charles, we're, we're doing it. I don't know if you've eaten Din Din yet, but uh, it's, about, it's about quitting time here for oh, us. Yeah. But stay safe, stay quarantined. Uh, hygienic. Stay hygienic, hygienic. Yeah. yeah. To keep showering. I've you know, I've gone a couple days, but now that the heat's on me, I yeah. gotta I gotta hit it every night. I'm getting glossy. Look at my forehead. Gotta get back to that Getting every glossy. day, every day. Shower. Back to the daily grind, man. The daily showers. <laughs> the daily Wash showers. your nuts. Uh, thank you for calling us, Charles. Thank you, Charles. Of course, of course. Have a good night. Enjoy the burritos. Fuck yeah. We will. We will.
Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely not hating on, on L.A. Mexican food or even Tex-Mex. I it's would just, just say it's different. It's just don't give me a burrito from there and tell me it's as good as a burrito from here because it's just it, – it, Every burrito I've had outside of San Diego just is filled with rice and extra beans. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't need beans and meat protein. That's way too much. You're overdoing it. You're killing overdoing me. Overdoing it. So now you know. Now. Uh, PBS it, Food Show. And if you don't know, now you know. Eater. We're, we're eaters. Mm-hmm. And we're going to eat ourselves content tonight. Dog bow. Well, Until then, uh, hang with us. We do have. Uh, oh, how could we go away without get, recommending a sponsor, Brian? Oh, hold on, hold on. Brian, I want to tell you all about our 64-hour special. That's right. We have the extra, extra strength Tylenol on deck. Oh, it's not for Mario Kart. Just headaches. <laughs> yeah. You can pick up this lovely little shirt until the end of tonight. Shop.mega64.com. What is this beat? This is a groove. I just. I like it. I can dance to this, Brian. Uh, thank you very much, my King Lord. Oh, you're welcome. Hey, also, we got two pre orders up. Yeah. Make sure to get your pre order. New shirt, Rover Baller 64. Oh yeah, and the pocket tee. Are those pre-orders? Are those pre-orders still up? I uh, just went on the website. There, if, if they're still up, you should take advantage of well, them. Well, as long, yeah, I think they are. And as long as we're shopping at shop.mega64, pick up those new pre-orders as well as the extra extra strength Tylenol, both uh, shop.mega64.com. We sure do love you. We'll see you next time. Oh yeah. This game is, what a fucking classic. A light What kind of a rip-off is it? A bow from a dog? My gosh. You must be nuts. We don't even have a dog. A butt. A butt bow. Poop bow. Are you on drugs? Poop bow. Are you on drugs? I think you're crazy. Are you drunk? Now tell me who you are. You're a monkey, yeah. A poop bow? You're a crazy monkey. Uh, hello? Yes. Who's this? I'm calling about the vacuum cleaner. Uh, yeah. You, are you all right, yeah. Darth Vader? This is the grandmother. Hello? Hello, you have to call back. <laughs> you gotta hear your fucking voice, bitch! <laughs> Hello? You there, Granny? You coughing up a burp ding ball? Granny? Why don't you go out and eat me? Why don't you go back to hell where you came from with that fucking ass horse?
near usual, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, doing your usual, huh? Yeah. Um, doing your usual, huh? Make up, make up, make up.